Hi, I'm Alicia and welcome to my channel Paper Craft Secrets. Today I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step card tutorial using Uniquely Creative's Gums and Roses collection. To begin with, I've already cut, pre-cut all of my papers and cardstock, so I'm just going to take you step-by-step -step through what I've cut um, so that you can recreate this at home. These folded cards measure 8 inches by 8 inches and we're going to be making 4 cards so you'll need 4 lots of that. Um, this is a scrap from the 12 by 12 with 3 and a quarter by 7 and a quarter inches and you're going to need 4 of those. So just start with a 12 by 12 piece of paper cut into 8 by 8 and then use the scraps to make the 3 and a quarter by the 7 and a quarter. This measures seven and three quarters by three and three quarters, and you're going to need four of these from the Gums and Roses Uniquely Creative Papers, from the 12 by 12 papers. You're also going to need a three by seven inch rectangle of each of the papers again. So you need two rectangles from each of the 12 by 12 papers. Choose four designs, and you're going to use the same designs for each of the two rectangles. You are also going to need four paper doilies, one for each card, and these little Polaroid cutouts that came in, in the pack. I've also cut out some sentiments from one of the 12 by 12 sheets, and I have also fussy cut a lot of roses from one of the 12 by 12 sheets. So each card will have the same elements to begin with and you can change the sentiment to a sentiment that suits you. There's a lot to choose from in the papers. And to take one of the larger rectangles, just using a fine line of glue around the edge of the paper. We're going to adhere that to the base of the cardstock. Place that under something heavy to dry and then repeat for each one of the cards. The next step is to glue the smaller rectangles to the smaller white cardstock. Now that those pieces have all dried, we're going to lay all of the cards out in front of us. Going to match the different papers. So the two pinks go together, the two blues go together, but they're going to be alternated. We're going to use some foam tape on the back of these cards to create some dimension. Now it's time to lay each doily out onto each card. Just glue the doily down with a little bit of glue. In the top half of the card. 
Select a Polaroid frame that you're happy with the colours. And a fussy cut floral cluster. Put mounting tape on the back of each of those frames. It's now time to select your flowers. You can use any flowers that you have in your stash, but just keep in mind that in these cards, the flowers are really the centerpiece. And the prettier the flower is, the prettier your card is going to be. So if you have time to create your own flowers, or if you have some paper blooms in your stash that are really pretty, this is the time to pull out those beautiful paper blooms and make them a centerpiece on the card. I'm ready, getting ready to sort of glue these pieces down now. I'm starting to get a feel for the card, so I've glued on the little Polaroid flame, frame. I've glued on some of the fussy cut floral clusters, and now I'm going to glue on some of the silk flowers and a crinkled ribbon and a little white twine bow. My heat gun was still warming up in this section and so I was persisting with the normal paper glue that I use but the heat gun, heat gun works a lot better with the flowers and I recommend that. This is probably the most time consuming part of the card making process where you're playing around with the design and trying to get the flowers in the right position. I ended up doing a diagonal sort of design with the two flowers, one on the outer edge at the bottom and one on the inner edge, sort of in the middle at the top and then the sentiment on the other side. I decided to put the crinkled ribbons at the bottom of either the floral cluster or the sentiment and then I added in some more fussy cut elements to each card. The leaves um, in this collection are really really good for floral clusters. Moving on to the third card now. And preparing the fourth card. I started out with using all of the same coloured flowers and then I ended up changing my mind on the colour of the flowers. I'm just going back with the hot glue gun to get those flowers to stay and I've added a very special flower centre which really adds a lot to the card.
You can see how my flowers don't exactly match the collection. So, but they still suit the card. So you don't have to have a flower that is the exact same tones as the colors of the paper. You can add in some fresh colors. Just adding in a smaller pearl flower center into the top of that flower and trimming the ends of the bows you could create these cards with just floral clusters but I decided that I would add some of the Australian animals to these cards. adhering the ribbon and the bow I just like to add in a few leaves around the, the embellishment cluster to add some more dimension to the card and these leaves are perfect for this just adding the little galar on to this card here you may need to trim it down just a little bit so that it can sit just above your sentiment. Just adding the wombat into this card here. These cards have a real Australian feel, feel to them now. They're not just a beautiful floral cluster card, but they are extra unique with the Australian animals. Adding in a few little leaves down the bottom there. The ribbon the twine bow on top of the ribbon Try to position those leaves so it looks like they're sort of coming down from the ribbon. Don't feel pressured to get these done quickly. Just take your time with the cards. You might feel that, you know, you stick and unstick a few times until you get your leaves in the right spot. I know I did. It took me a while to make these cards. I just... I didn't rush the process. I just enjoyed the process and took my time with the creating of the cards just adding in like a couple more little layers now at the tops of the cards every sort of little bit that you add in can really add some more dimension to the card but it does take time to find the right piece just trim them back a little bit if they are a bit too big I hope you enjoyed this tutorial for how to make a set of four cards using Uniquely Creative's Gums and Roses collection. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of the cards. And please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely crafty day.